Malaria therapy for syphilis, used in the early to mid-20th century, involved deliberately infecting patients with malaria to induce a fever, thought to help combat syphilis bacteria. The fever was believed to stimulate the immune system, creating an environment less favorable for syphilis. This was before the development of antibiotics. While somewhat effective, it was risky due to the potential severity of malaria. Controlling induced fever was challenging, and patients often experienced severe side effects like anemia, rigors, kidney and liver dysfunction, vomiting and fatigue. 